Hello and welcome. Thank you for watching this video. Have you ever thought of how Microsoft Azure works when we use any service from the cloud provider? So that is what we are going to discuss how it actually works behind the scene. So Microsoft currently owns and operates one of the largest backbone networks in the world. This global and sophisticated architecture spans more than 160k miles wide and connect data centers with their customers all over the world. Everyday customers around the world connect and pass trillions of requests to Microsoft Azure and other services such as Bing, Dynamic 365, Office 365, Xbox, etc. Microsoft has currently 54 active regions overall, allowing availability, reliability and the flexibility to its customers. But how does Microsoft work with so many users requests each day across the globe? And to understand that, we first need to talk about few things such as what is virtualization, hypervisor, guest operating system and host operating system. So in earlier days how we used to host our applications includes a traditional method containing your hardware on top of which uh, you have operating system which can be Windows or Linux. So this operating system will uh, actually use hardware resources such as uh, processors, memory, network, storage, etc. And on top of that, you have hosted your application. So that is how we used to have our applications hosted on our uh, computers. So, but after a few years, uh, we came to uh, know about the concept of virtualization. So in general, virtualization is an act of creating virtual version of uh, something. So virtualization was first uh, used in mainframes uh, during 60s to divide the system resources. And the virtualization that we are now interested in is a hardware virtualization or the platform virtualization. So which refers to creation of a virtual machine uh, that acts like a real computer with an operating system. So software executed on a virtual machine is separated from underlying hardware resources. So let's take an example. You have a computer with Windows operating system uh, which hosts virtual machine with Ubuntu Linux. So where you can run Ubuntu based software. So in this case, uh, you have actual hardware resource on top of which you have operating system known as the host operating system and on host machine, you run a special software which can create multiple virtual machines and this is called as the hypervisor. So VMware is an example of hypervisor which you might have heard. So you have multiple operating systems running on top of the host machine which then can run application separately. So this concept is known as the virtualization in computing. So we discussed in uh, one of the earlier videos about how Azure geographies, regions, availability zones and data centers are located. So essentially uh, the cloud is a set of physical servers in one or more data centers that executes virtualization technique on behalf of the customers. So we just discuss about the virtualization. So inside each of the data centers uh, is a collection of servers sitting in a rack. Each server rack contains many server blades and these are connected uh, through uh, network switches and power distribution units. Each of these servers uh, within rack contains a special software called as the hypervisor which creates multiple virtual machines on behalf of users. And there is a software which is running in each rack known as fabric controller which is distributed applications uh, and uh, which has a main responsibility such as allocating services, uh, monitoring the health of server, monitoring the health of services and healing the servers whenever there is any kind of a failure. So in this case, each instance of fabric controller is connected to another set of servers running a software called as orchestrator. It also known as front end. So front-end hosts your orchestrator and Azure database on cloud servers. The front-end hosts the servers that handle customer requests to allocate Azure resources such as Virtual Machine, Cosmos DB and the storage. So first uh, front-end validates the user if he is authorized to allocate the requested resource. If so, then it checks a database uh, to locate a server rack with a sufficient capacity and then if everything is fine then calls the fabric controller on a particular rack to allocate the resource. And now when you ask Azure to create a virtual machine then it basically goes to orchestrator or the front end through an API and validates the user 
and see if there is a capacity in a particular region particular data center that you requested and allocates the virtual machine on that rack by calling the fabric controller so basically azure is a huge collection of servers and the networking hardware are running a complex set of distributed application to orchestrate the configuration and the operation of the virtualized hardware and the software on those servers it is this architecture that makes azure powerful and you are no longer responsible for maintaining and upgrading hardware because azure does all this behind the scene so that is how the request goes from azure portal till the data centers in a particular rack so now i hope uh, we are aware of how uh, azure works behind the scene and how whenever you uh, request for a resource how that is uh, routed from azure portal to the particular rack within the data center thank you